Crassula muscosa, agroplants.org, also known as Crassula Buddha's Temple. So this succulent shrub, subshrub, it's perennial evergreen and it's used as ornamental plant. It's a draw tolerant and it can grow in variety of climate. Uh, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to buy this plant, uh, check there is in the down the, in the description there is a link to buy, to purchase it below and you have in the right top uh, also to purchase this plant it can grow in subtropical mediterranean desert or temperate climate uh, also possible to grow it indoor as a house plant from growing in hardiness zone from uh, 9 uh, until 11 the leaves are this is a beautiful part of the plants are green in a triangle shape and the leaves merge in the base of the of the uh, next to the stem the leaves grow in a group of four a rosette shape and look like one merged unit the flower color can be uh, is white and the flower grow next to each uh, leaf the flowers are small and let's say 0.5 millimeters so it's really really small in a star shape so how to grow it uh, usually it doesn't require much well-drained soil it's important uh, you have uh, to remember that uh, the drainage is important because if you will overwater the plant will die uh, consider to put fertilizer once a year uh, at least put and we'll put water only when the leaves become a little bit soft this is your cue when to uh, to play to water it you can start to grow it by plant seeds or cutting uh, cutting of the leaves or the stems also pups it's really really easy and good to start by pups uh, if you start uh, to grow it by seeds the season will be from the spring to the summer Keep the soil little moist and almost dry, but not dry. Care that it won't be fully dry because if yes, you will might kill the seeds. And of course, you can use a, as a potting soil, a potting mix, or sandy soil. If you want to use start by cutting, uh, you can start by leaf or stem. Cutting the base of the leaves or even better possible to do it by hand uh, cut the stems in the middle uh, in the middle try to cut it uh, with few leaves at least and let it uh, dry in the shade for few days and before you put it in the soil check that it's healed uh, keep the soil moist and do not overwater it's better to start by cutting because it's just faster to start by leaf, able to start by seed, it's just a little bit headache, and it's something that you should consider that it takes a lot of time, and easier to start by cutting or pups. Uh, be aware that this plant is toxic to animals like dogs, cats, horses, and uh, usually they don't eat it. But if you have uh, a dog that eat everything, just be aware that this is something that you should prevent it. Planting season can be all the year in cold climate, uh, not in the winter and better not in the autumn. Uh, planting uh, shoes location with a good drainage. Uh, and if you have like, uh, you want to plant it in the soil directly and you have a lot of rains, better to do it uh, in raising bed or above the ground level that won't sit in a puddle or something that will kill the roots. Uh, pests and it's usually snails, slugs, aphids, mealybugs and pruning season can be all the year it's usually just for design and dead parts like uh, blooming stems and a uh, bloomings flowers I mean and leaves the height of the plant it's between 5 to 15 centimeters so it's mean 2 to 6 inches water requirement uh, it will be small amount of water let it dry between watering and take care not to overwater because again you will kill it 
uh, be, uh, be aware that this is slow growing plant especially when you have a young plant and especially when you start by seeds you can grow it in full sun to full shade this is why it can grow as a house plant and if you want to grow it in a container a better small container 30% bigger than the root ball not something crazy don't take something too much big because it's not good for the plant uh, switch the soil every five or so uh, years use sandy soil or uh, even cactus potting mix will be good uh, make enough holes in the in the container and if you have a lot of rains put it under a cover that it won't have a lot of water on it of course uh, add some uh, organic matter it's always good lava grit or just a, you know pebbles or some little stone a uh, perlite or perlite it's also good to add in the, because you want to keep the air and the ventilated of the roots and also because you want to that uh, will be some space for the roots a uh, blooming season it's in the winter to the spring and if you want to grow it by seeds I already explained it but some more information so be aware that the temperature should be from 23 to 27 degree Celsius it means 73 to 80 Fahrenheit so in light uh, don't ha doesn't have to be sunny slightly moist soil and good soil a uh, good drainage and well ventilated the ventilation of the soil it's important uh, this is why better sandy or like a cactus, cactus potting mix that might do the job except this it's easy plan to grow without special requirement I don't think that uh, you just need to care not to kill it because it's really easy to kill if you overwater uh, they are not really react well for overwater uh, so be aware of this and accept this again not very hard to grow and uh, enjoy that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again